so I've been getting a lot of DMs on Instagram with a lot of questions about how to get started on keto so I thought I would do this video so I could put more information out there um, like I said in the previous video how I started was um, I eased into it I didn't just go from standard American diet one day to full-blown keto the next I just started off by cutting out bread and rice and beans and um, potatoes like that's just how I started getting my second stage was I started incorporating foods that are typically known as keto um, I don't subscribe to the notion that foods are keto and non keto but I started eating those foods that were are like regularly associated with the ketogenic diet then I went more strict and I started really limiting my fruit and cutting that out I was like completely obsessed with soursop out here um, I was just eating soursop literally every day so that's something that um, was the last thing I had to cut out of my diet was the soursop that I was eating every day and it's so good and I do kind of miss it but um, I wouldn't put those pounds back on to eat it I'll tell you that much I started in the beginning of the year low carb and then it took me about two weeks so about halfway through January that's when I went full bone um, ketogenic um, once you get the the ketogenic foods down then you're going to have to start really managing your carbs and really like micromanaging your carbs um to be on a ketogenic diet it's recommended that you eat no more than 20 net carbohydrates per day what you would do is you would take the total number of carbs and subtract the dietary fiber and subtract the sugar alcohols and that'll give you your net carb for that item there are things that can help you with this like you can google it um, or what I did in the beginning was track my carbohydrates with a, a application called carb manager it is free they offer premium version I have not paid for the premium version you don't have to pay for the premium version the regular version will suit you just fine I don't recommend my fitness pal because it doesn't calculate your net carbs but carb manager does in the beginning and you're eating three meals a day and maybe having a snack then you're definitely going to want to use the app to manage your carbohydrate intake um, avoid mistakes in the beginning a lot of people in the beginning of keto make a lot of mistakes I was absolutely one of them I didn't do full research and that was the problem. I went into keto thinking, okay, this is not healthy. I'm going to be eating too much fat. I'm going to be really unhealthy, but I really want to lose weight and I'll be desperate and try anything. That was my mentality, and that's not the mentality to have. Um, the truth is a ketogenic diet is a healthy diet. What you've been told is healthy, eating a lot of grains and cereal and oatmeal and all this stuff. It's just simply not true because once it was introduced, the health of the country just completely declined so just definitely go into keto knowing that you're doing something great for your body um, another mistake that I made was not starting electrolytes um, in the beginning that is so important you can't skip it you can't skimp on it you can't do without it it is absolutely essential that you replenish your electrolytes when you're on a ketogenic diet this is how I do it. I keep it really simple. Regular table salt. I'll take a third of a teaspoon of this. New salt. In there, you could also use no salt. It is straight potassium. Like it's a salt substitute, but it is straight potassium. You need that third of a teaspoon of that. And then epsom salt just a pinch of food grade epsom salt it doesn't matter what brand you choose the only important thing is that it's food grade you don't want to use lavender epsom salt that people soak their feet with because that would be pretty nasty but um just take a pinch of epsom salt and then i dissolve that in a blender bottle and then i add a flavoring agent to it because it is not delicious some people can stomach drinking it on its own but it makes me gag and throw up when i try to do that so i do go ahead and use a flavoring agent this is crystal light it's strawberry pineapple you can use whatever flavor you like one note is i would use the liquid and not the powder the powder contains something called maltodextrin that you do want to avoid 
whenever possible on a ketogenic diet. Um, another tip I have is to wait before you begin fasting. Um, people go from standard American diet to keto and fasting immediately and sometimes that can be overwhelming emotionally um, because you're not fat adapted, you're not used to the lifestyle and that's too much sacrifice. Sacrificing your carbohydrates and sacrificing breakfast and sometimes people will go straight into one meal a day and that's, that's a lot of sacrifice and that's um, something that make people fall off the wagon. So I say wait at least two weeks, maybe a month for you to get fat adapted before you start fasting. But I absolutely recommend fasting. I'm just saying don't put too much on yourself at one time. Um, just be smart about it and wait until the hunger decreases before you add in fasting because once you um, get into ketosis and begin to become fat adapted, your hunger will decrease and fasting will become second nature. I'm fasting right now, haven't had a single calorie today, not hungry one bit and it's about you know one o'clock, something like that, give or take. Um, so it definitely becomes a part of the lifestyle, but it's not something you want to force too soon.